Fees for your home place supports are in your quote in part three of the service agreement package. There are different ways you can pay us for supports. Please tell us if the way your supports are paid for changes. Self-management is when you manage your NDIS funding and you pay us for your supports. Plan management is when a provider supports you to manage your NDIS funding. These providers are called plan managers. They will pay us for your supports. NDIA managed is when the NDIA manages your funding. They pay us for your supports. If your funding is NDIA managed and you have a new PACE plan, you will need to endorse HomePlace as a provider. You can talk with your support coordinator about how to complete this process. If you do not have a new PACE plan, by signing this agreement, you agree for HomePlace to create a service booking. When you sign your quote, please write how your NDIS funds will be managed. Please make sure your NDIS plan has enough funds to pay for your home place supports. Please make sure payments for your home place supports are paid within 14 days of receiving our invoice. We will aim to invoice claims against your plan within 30 days of providing you with your support. For your establishment fee, if you are going to have supports from us for the first time and you'll be having more than 20 hours of support a month, we will charge you an establishment fee as in the NDIS pricing arrangement guide. We will only charge you this once. For transport to and from activities, you may have NDIS funding to assist you to get to activities in the community. This is called activity-based transport. This is where a support worker transports you to or from a community participation support. Please tell us whether you would like your activity-based transport to be paid from your core or transport NDIS budgets. It will be written in your quote. Your NDIS budget may not be enough to pay for all of the fees for your chosen activities. HomePlace will bill you directly for these additional kilometre fees. You are financially responsible for paying the transport costs that are in addition to those that can be paid for from your NDIS funding. For provider travel, you will be charged for the time it takes for your staff member to travel to you to begin your supports. This travel may be from the home place office, another participant to your place, or a place where you're to meet your support worker. We will set a limit on this. You will be charged up to a maximum of 30 minutes of provider travel per day for a staff member to come to support you at your home or at other places from which you want the support to commence. You will be charged a kilometre fee for the kilometres that they travel in their car to reach your home or other place for support. If you do not pay your invoice within four weeks of the date of invoice and you or your representative have not made any attempt to communicate with us, we may have to stop providing you with supports. Any money you owe us may be recovered by a debt collection agency. Mm -hmm.